Well, hey there, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So, in today's video, you saw I'm doing the last pizza crust video. So, that's why I got this big joker out again. Already got it kind of greased all up. Ease it down so I don't break that glass out. That'd <laughs> be tragic. But them things are pretty tough. But, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to finish up the last one with the package crust mix this is the bob's red meal glutton free no gluten free I don't know. so got everything out need to get my thermometer thermo thermometer get me a little vessel to be able to put water in i think it's one and a half cups or something so there we go got that so let's see all righty so you need a cup and a half of warm water so i'll get that in a second two eggs got them two tablespoons of olive oil i think that's two tablespoons <laughs> one package of this and then this says it has the yeast package in it as well. So all you do is, is just combine all the ingredients in a large bowl, mix it well. Dough will be very sticky. So it says wet down your hands with the water or oil, work it a little bit, and then uh, put it in a warm place for 20 minutes. And then you could set it so you can start on your pizza pan getting them ready but I've already got it ready so I'm gonna throw it in the oven I got my oven at 170 so I'll let it sit in there for the 20 minutes to let it hopefully rise on up let that yeast start to get happy so I'm gonna go ahead and get this open you got a place to open it but I don't know if y'all are like me, but Lord have mercy, you got stuff now you can't even get into. Yesterday, or when, yeah, yesterday I was eating some chili or taco stew. My sister made, and I was gonna eat some good old crackers with it. Go to open up the cracker box, and it just it just rips off instead of being able to. Open it up. <laughs> so, I guess they're making junk for folks who don't steal it. So, it's crazy. I'm getting my water here. Just get one more. See what it's leading at. One ten, I believe. Yeah. 110 degrees. Do what we're getting to. There we go. 140. 120. 19. 15. 114. A bit lower. There we go. I think that'll be about good. It's at 113. So I figure by the time I get it and get it poured over and get everything else in there that it'll be cooled down. So it's gotta go one and a half. I wish these measuring cups, they don't have the numbers on there it's that great. Really, to get it accurate, accurate, you need to sit it on a flat surface. So there we go. There's one and a one and a half yeast packet. Perfect rise. It says we shall see. Get all that in there. Does everything in a bowl? It says. All of that 
directions and we shall see when I eat. Two eggs. And those eggs will help with arriving that well. Because they're used as leavening agents. Alrighty. What else? Water. Pour it on that side. So if it is a little toasty, it might not. Let's see. Olive oil to two tablespoons. There we go. And a one. And a two. There we go. sticky and it looks like it's going to be so they weren't lying <laughs> it's smelling kind of yeasty smell Yeah, let me wash my hands off and I'll show it to y'all. Here y'all go. Maybe y'all can see it. I think it looks pretty good. So, alrighty now. I think just, just cover it and let it sit in a warm place for 20 minutes. Now I'm just gonna pop that in the oven. Let it sit for 20 minutes and I'll be back with y'all. We'll see how it's doing, see if it's rised in it, and then we'll, I guess, get to going on getting it baked and stuff and shaped out onto my skillet. So let's get that, that go, and I'll see y'all in a few. It's hollering at me that it's been uh, 20 minutes. So we'll see if we've got any rise to it. A little bit. Looks like it's came up some. Alright. Let's see what it says to do. Alright. Let me get this going. The 425 it says. Get that a going. Alrighty. So preheat that to 425, place the dough on your pizza pan, and then it says just kind of shape it out to however big you want it. It says you can make two 12 inch if you split it in half, or you can do one, I think 16, with it all together. So I'm just gonna leave it together and go from there. So, alrighty, so. Let's get this thing 
blocked out on her no cast iron pizza pan. I'm gonna oil it up a little bit more. Pour a little bit on the dough as well. use my hands. That'll work better, I think. Grease them up. <laughs> Alrighty. Let that preheat. It's at 357, so we're getting close to 425. So get it out. Desired size. Okay, and then bake, okay. Bake says seven minutes, like this. Then take it out, put on the toppings. I'm just gonna be using pepperonis, the old ragu sauce and mozzarella. And then I got some extra cheese to make the own if it don't look cheesy enough. <laughs> so we'll see. So, 382, so I'll let that heat on up and when that gets preheated, I'll put it in there and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll see y'all in that going in the oven. So see y'all. Alrighty, folks, it preheated there. So I'm gonna slide this on in and let it go for seven minutes. And we'll go from there. So set me a timer, seven, start. So there we go. We'll see what it looks like in seven minutes. And then we'll start throwing on our topping and let it finish off baking. I'll do the taste test and we'll see how it compares with the cheap old Jiffy and cheap Martha White, really, because they were 79 and 99 and this was something. I'll throw it on the screen. So we'll see how it compares. Then I'll see how it stacks up in my mind too against the store bought already uh, canned pizza crust. So we'll see how it goes. So let's take, let that go for seven minutes and I'll see y'all back when I'm pulling that out of the oven. So see y'all. Pull it off of there. Primer off. There we go. Let's see how she looks. Up pretty good. Here we go. Shut that back up. Yep. Yeah. It's feeling pretty good. It smells pretty good. That yeasty kind of smell. So now I'll work on getting the toppings on there. Start putting a little base here of sauce. Get it kind of spread around evenly. So y'all like y'all's really saucy or just the right amount of sauce or heavy sauce or you just like pizza. <laughs> I like just like a good mix, I guess. Not crazy amount, but just the right amount. Like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, the porridge that's just right. So, this will be the sauce that's just right. I think maybe that's close. Maybe just a touch more. That'd probably be pretty good. Yeah. Looking looking pretty good. Try to get it fairly even. Alright, look at old 
mozzarella cheese. I'm thinking it's gonna probably need it, need it all. <laughs> Cause I like the cheese when it comes to pizza. I like to have plenty on there. Now I think, let's see. Once this is, this is a eight ounce bag of shredded. It's looking pretty good, I think. Now the good old pepperonis. Probably pile them on pretty good. Because when they cook, they kind of will shrink down anyway. So kind of put them stacked right with each other. Don't know how many y'all have on there. I think Pizza Hut or somewhere. One of them one time said they had like 60 on their pepperoni pizza or something. I had a friend <laughs> count it one time and they didn't have 60. <laughs> he brought it, I think he brought it back <laughs> and they had to give him another one. But I mean, if you say you're gonna do something, do it. <laughs> and especially if you're offering a service or a product or whatever to the public or to just an individual, somebody you know. <laughs> if you say you're gonna do it, just do it. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Looking quite pepperoni-y, <laughs> but that's fine with me. More the merrier with cheese and meat on a pizza. I think this Friday night, this is Tuesday for me, the 2nd of November. Y'all will see this later on the line, probably. December, I think, yeah, maybe right at Christmas. So, Merry Christmas if you're watching this then. So, yeah, that was good. I'm gonna let y'all come see that. There we go, look at that. That was covered up. That looks good to me. So, let me get this in the oven and uh let it cook let's see what it says y'all can read it with me there we go remove from oven cover your favorite toppings we did that bake for an additional 15 to 18 minutes until crust is golden brown so we're gonna put that in the oven for another 15 minutes and we'll see how it looks so I'll put it in there and see y'all when I'm getting it out. So see y'all. Alrighty, hollering at me again. Hush. <laughs> see how it's been. It's been 15 minutes, so we'll see if it's browned up enough. Woo. Pour it right out. Get my other one. It's looking pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, I believe she done. Alrighty, let's sit her right there. Right there so I don't touch it and <coughs> burn myself. Because, believe it or not, I've done it before. <laughs> I mean, if you cooked, you know, you know you've done it too. And done that before too, you cut yourself. So I'm gonna let that cool because I figure if I ate it now, it's going to destroy my tongue and upper roof of my mouth. Won't have any hair in my mouth anymore. <laughs> It'll burn everything off. So I'm gonna let that sit for probably five, ten minutes. Let it cool off good and We'll go from there, but it looks pretty good. Crush feels kind of 
fluffiness to it. Um, golden brown kind of on the sides. That's a little crispiness of the cheese there. So look pretty good. So we'll let this cool again. I'll see y'all when I'm cutting it up and chowing down to see how it compares. So see y'all in a few. Well, already folks, it's cooled off for about 10 minutes now. So move it over here. We'll cut into it and see how it is. Cutting, cutting pretty good. Pull off some of my ronies there. There we go. Pull them back on there. <laughs> there we go. Maybe that's cut pretty good. Give me a plate. <laughs> bottom crust there maybe y'all can see it it's looking pretty good feels pretty good pretty hefty uh hold on sorry time out we'll see you in a second all right i'm back had to get a drink and a napkin that hit me as i need those <laughs> all righty let's see how it is still feels kind of warm Mm. Hot. <laughs> mm. Pretty good. I think I need to cook it just a touch longer, but The dough, the dough is better than the other two. It's got that pizza feel to it. Well, hey there, y'all. I'm back with you at the end of that video. After I've ate a few pieces and stuff, and first initial bites and stuff is kind of okay but once i got into it and eating it more i don't know it it wasn't it wasn't as good so after eating a few more pieces and stuff you know i said initially yeah i'd recommend uh getting it but now after eating it a little bit i, I wouldn't recommend it <laughs> so initially it started it's kind of okay but once i got into eating it and eating another piece I don't know, it wasn't as good. The crust started getting almost like gummy feeling. And I mean, I followed directions pretty well right to it and let it rise and everything else. So I don't know if I guess it was possibly just that lack of gluten that helps to make crust better texturally feeling and stuff. But this one, the texture and the taste, once I got into it, it wasn't, wasn't as good. It was almost like a play-doh taste <laughs> so uh later on <laughs> so mm, i wouldn't recommend it so if you see it i wouldn't get the gluten-free one if i got a one that's regular with gluten if you can have gluten or whatever i would i'd get the one with the gluten so post after eating it don't get it <laughs> so see y'all Comparison with the rolled out pizza dough, it's better than all of them. And it's gonna be cheaper than this and a little higher than the Martha White, it's $1.79. So if I was getting, I would get it over all of them because it's got the best texture 
and taste and feel to it. So, but for what that is, and for kind of fun of making and stuff, it's pretty good. I definitely, I'd, I'd say if you see it and you're wanting to make pizza one night or something, I'd say go for it. It's pretty good, pretty fun, fun to make and stuff. So, this was a fun one to do, kind of testing out, comparing them all, seeing how they went. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. I enjoyed getting to do it and eat it for sure. <laughs> but, anyways, y'all, like, share, and subscribe if you want to, if you haven't already. And uh, if you do so, hey, welcome on into the Head to Tail family. We'll love you and welcome you on in. So, thank y'all again, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.